Next question is from Zach Thompson, 15. What are your favorite exercises and movements in the sagittal and tran- transverse planes? There you go, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so in terms of like a transverse plane of movement, this is one of those that a lot of people like you never see this in the gym. I always get excited. You guys get excited certain seeing certain exercises when you walk into a gym. This is where I get a little bit excited when I see somebody actually intentionally uh, trying to do something, even if it's as simple as a step up, but they're now adding in rotation, uh, rotation yeah. which, um, you, you know, that gets me excited because you're actually considering the long term uh, effects of training on the body. And I think that, uh, you know, to not consider these things, you're going to put yourself in a position where, you know, you're, you're going to suffer the consequences of that uh, later. So I, I really like, um, you know, even if it's like a bodybuilder move where it's like an Arnold press, like for instance, like getting rotation out of the shoulders and adding the strength and, and, you know, muscle development. Uh, that's a, that's a great exercise for that alone. And it's not that complicated. So like to be able to do things that aren't quite as complicated. Um, one of my ultimate favorite uh, exercises exercises that, uh, you know, I get a lot of feedback from when people actually go into our MAPS performance program is the, the, the lunge matrix. And the reason why I like that so much, which I could have done that too with step ups, a very mm-hmm. similar type of a complex with that, um, <clears throat> because we hit all those different planes. I have to move and adjust my body and, and plot uh, where everything is going to uh, land and be able to stabilize and be able to control my body in those different movements and experience express strength to dig my way out of those movements as well. So, uh, I mean, you, you go forward in the sagittal plane, you go out to the side, you know, in the frontal plane, and then we twist our body intentionally and we pick a spot, we come down. So we get that rotation, we control the body again, we drop. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty much one of the better exercises for uh, encompassing all of it. Yeah. Transverse plane really involves a lot of rotating, right? Rotating and twisting. It's probably the most uh, neglected plane uh, of exercise, right? When you go to the gym, you don't you, you you see people doing things in front of them, right? Curls and tricep press. That's why I thought it was like weird. I, I thought it was weird. This person asked the, sagittal. Yeah, yeah. Sa- everything's in damn. Yeah, everybody's doing that. Yeah, everything. So, every extra. Every common exercise you see is. They sagittal. probably meant frontal. Yeah, frontal is. I mean, there's a lot of common exercise in front. Oh, laterals, side laterals sure. is in, is in side the lunge. side lunges. Side lunges. Transverse is where you, a lot of people miss. They miss out. They don't do a lot of stuff in this plane and. And as a result, they don't develop uh, a lot of balance and nice insertions in there. No, I'm just kidding. They, <laughs> yeah. they don't develop balance in their movement. That's the area I would say if you if you work out a, a lot, uh, pay attention to how many exercises you you do that involve rotation because you're probably yeah. not doing a whole lot. Everything else is every other common exercise is sagittal usually. And then, you know, I'd say that the second most common is the, is the frontal, right? Yeah, no, everything is in the set. I mean, so can simplify this for everybody. So, like, the fact that we're even using these terms, I think, is silly for most yeah. people. Yeah. Sagittal is just forward and back, right? So, exercises in, in front of you or back of you, basically, almost everything you do, a squat, uh, a forward lunge. Deadlift. All, yeah, deadlift. Everything Bench is press, yeah, yeah, everything is typically in the sagittal plane. So, that's, that's pretty basic. Uh, transverse plane is m- mostly rotational movements, and you just don't see a lot of people doing that. Uh, did either, I don't hear either one of you guys say like land landmine rotation? Oh yeah, right, that's rotation. a great one. Yeah, that's a great one. Trunk rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lizard with rotation for like a mobility drill, like any sort of. And we talk. Justin especially talks a lot about or like a medicine ball throw against the wall. Like mm-hmm. these are just anytime you start to incorporate rotational movement, you're in the transverse plane. So focusing on that and incorporating that. Uh, I'm a fan. Windmill. I mean, we didn't. You didn't oh, talk. Right. That's your go-to. Like you yep. always love to talk about the windmill. Uh, I think just incorporating rotational movement in your program is necessary. If you follow, and I, this is, uh, you know, we've actually talked about this recently, the RGB bundle where you go through our anabolic performance and then aesthetic, we make sure to address that, like especially in performance. Performance has a lot of the transverse plane incorporated it, and that's because anabolic is mostly in the sagittal plane because we are focused more on building the metabolism, building strength, laying a good foundation like you should, and then we transition where we start to incorporate more rotational movements in there. And so if you're programming yourself, 
I think that that's something that should definitely, you either should intermittently always be putting uh, that in your routine, or it should be something you phase into every few months for sure. Oh, that's, well, how, you, that's how you develop balance. Yeah, and I think too, because I know initially when we started this podcast, we were very much like heavy in the bodybuilding type community. And so, you know, that's where I, I really like saw a deficiency there in terms of like having uh, twisting and rotation uh, incorporated in the programming of a lot of these, even if it's, you know, because we're, we're trying to single out these joints and and really like focus in on like very specific muscles by themselves but uh you know talking to bodybuilders and having bodybuilder type uh, models come in and do these exercises for our programs and stuff i get to talking with them and it's just uh, neglecting those have caused things like you know shoulder impingements like they're they're suffering certain issues and pains and arthritis and whatnot as a result because they're not expressing their joint to its full uh capacity. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking for balance in your body and you want it to look well put together, you you work in all these different planes. And like Adam said, if, if you were to do uh, like our RGB bundle, you know, the, the first program in there is about building maximal strength and muscle. And then you move into working so many different planes of movement to develop balance. And then you move into at the end, sculpting and shaping the body with a with a legit bodybuilding type workout. But what that produces in terms of physique is a very well to put together, well balanced, um, nice looking body and physique with longevity. With longevity.